All right, I figured for this one, I'll make a little tutorial on how you could quickly fix an HDRI that has a sun that seems to not quite function like the sun should. So here's one of the sets I shot <clears throat> on these back roads here in Idaho. And uh, as you can see, the sun in my HDRI is quite soft. Like I'm getting a directional shadow, but it's not dominant like in the back plates. Here you could clearly see some very rich tones and some very distinctive shapes. So there's two ways you could fix it. One, you could go into Photoshop, add an exposure layer, go down, find where the sun is, then isolate the sun on its own adjustment layer. So make a circle, add a different exposure, and then bump that up. And then um, once you delete this layer, you kind of collapse that, save it, test it. And this is a whole back and forth, back and forth process. Now, what I like to do is kind of like a non-destructive workflow, if you will. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll go in, select the sun, just like this, and I'll just duplicate it. So control J on PC, I'll delete that exposure layer, and for that background, I'll fill it in black, and now I'll just save this as a new HDRI, and I'll just label it underscore sun. So that is my sun isolated on its own layer, if you will. But it's a black and white kind of deal. Now you go into 3D Max, and this works, I want to say in every render engine, but for a fact, I know it works in V-Ray, and it should work in Corona. Those are the two that I know I've done this method in. So right now I have a V-Ray bitmap. Uh, that's the way you're supposed to do it now for V-Ray HDRIs. And what I want to do is make it a composite material. So general and composite. This little box comes up. I do keep old as matte. So now I have layer one as my actual HDRI. I am going to add a new layer, drag and drop, copy, and now change this from the HDRI to just the sun. So now as you can see, we have our sun. There's no tones, no reflections, nothing's the pure sun. And what you want to do is change it from normal to lightning. So now, okay, we're back to kind of where we were and the sun's not really doing much. But what you can do now is go in and play with the properties of just the sun. So what I'll do is do inverse gamma, change this to about like 0.8, and you're going to see a huge difference in the, the way the shadows are looking now. So as you can see, we have a lot more of a dominant uh, rich shape and now all you have to do is go in and bump up the uh, overall multiplier so I'm gonna go from 1 to like 5 and now look at that so we still have our HDRI reflections everything's reading as is and we could quickly adjust the way the Sun is so let's say you you know you want a more of an aggressive shadow or less of aggressive this is now quickly you just adjust this value that's as simple as it gets. So in the past, I would always go back and forth in Photoshop, save, test, render, save, test, render. But now with this new method, it's a few clicks and I'm done. And now, as you can see, the tones are very, very close. And that's that. So your reflections, everything's going to match up. But now the shadows kind of match up to what they should be based on the HDRI sun. So that is my quick workflow for fixing suns and HDRIs without um, really stressing over the EV values or how much information the HDRI has. As long as I know where the heck the sun's going, I got it. I'm not concerned about it. So all those companies that try to sell you on their HDRIs are so good because of their EV exposure layers. I'm sure they're great. Don't get me wrong, but it's not the end of the world. You could still use an HDRI that doesn't have all those exposure layers. And a lot of websites sell HDRIs that just unfortunately don't have all that dynamic range. But it's no big deal. It's a quick little fix like that. And you can make any HDRI look and feel great. Hopefully this helps.